Joining us now is from Towson head coach Mike Gottlieb and junior uh, Zach Fisher. Uh, we'll start with an uh, opening statement from the coach and then open it up to questions. Well, I don't know if it was pretty, but I thought um, our ability, you know, one of the hidden keys to our win were, was our ability to turn double plays. Uh, we stopped basically three rallies um, and because they weren't they weren't going to stop hitting. It was that kind of a day. Uh, Coach, you talked about they kept rallying. Uh, just talk about your team's ability to keep scoring runs uh, after you got an early lead. Well, we did, and it was crucial. You know, we didn't do it yesterday. You know, after the fourth inning yesterday, we got shut down. Give credit to Delaware. And today we did a much, much better job of scoring through the eighth. Uh, you also drew 11 walks in the game. Just talk about your offense. Well, you're right. You know that certainly gives you the opportunity to have a multi-run innings, and we we executed today. We had a number of uh, key hits and men in scoring position. Uh, I'm sure more than one two-out hit, and we were lacking with that uh, yesterday. Coach, what was the message to the team, especially after a heartbreaking loss late to the night last night, and knowing that you had to come up here early in the morning and play? Uh, I'd like to tell you I gave some Vince Lombardi-like speech, but I really didn't. Most of those guys wouldn't know who Vince Lombardi was. But I just said, look, you know, it's not easy, but who cares? You know, you, you, okay, you lack of sleep. You're playing baseball. That's what you want to do. You know, let's go out and do it. Let's not make excuses as to why we can't do it. And I really doubt my talk had anything to do with it, but we, we did do what was necessary. What's your plan and strategy? Of the day until later tonight's game. Well, some are going to, they'll all eat. I'm sure some will get some sleep. You know, our BP before the game today was minimal at best. Obviously, it didn't matter. I don't know how important the pregame BP is uh, if you're playing on an everyday basis like we are now. So, you know, I'm more concerned about my pitching. Zach, talk about your team's ability to come out and grab an early lead um, after a tough loss last night. It was great. I mean, we were all really tired. You know, it was, it was hard to get out of bed this morning. Got maybe five hours of sleep, but uh, but we just pushed through it. And then once once you got a little bit of energy, you know, you get three runs in the first inning. Then all of a sudden, you're not as tired anymore, and everybody's everybody's ready to go and thinks you can win this thing. So. fighting through adversity all year. It's like another circumstance of that today. What do you attribute that? Um, just, it, I'm not really sure to be honest with you. I guess, I guess we're just, we just like the fight, you know. We, we got a taste of winning and, and we liked it, so, so we just keep it going. Uh, can you talk about your starting pitcher, uh, Michael Trimpo, he gave you five and two thirds good innings, uh, just his performance today. What, you know, if you don't know him, you're on the outside looking in. And you pull out the dictionary and you look up the word tough. His picture's there. He's tough. He really wants the ball. He wants to compete. He doesn't want to get taken out in crucial situations where maybe he's losing something. He really believes he can get it done. He believes he's good. And he's a true competitor. I told his father the other day, he's our version of Bob Gibson. You know, Bob Gibson was the tough pitcher, uh, makeup-wise, in the 60s. That's, that's Triunfo, minus maybe a foot in height. But he's, you know, he's a bulldog. He's a true bulldog. Zach, talk about your starting pitcher and your uh, confidence in playing behind him uh, when you're facing an elimination game like this. Uh, well, it's easy to play behind a guy that's won 10 games. You know, it's you know he's going to throw strikes. You know he's going to. He's going to come after hitters, so it keeps you on your toes, and I feel like you know, we feed off each other. You know, He knows we're going to play good defense, and we know he's going to throw strikes. It's fun. You talked about getting a little taste of winning. Now that you, your team has won a postseason tournament type game, how much does it mean to you and the team? It means a lot. It's it's pretty exciting. We're still, I think we're still coming off that high from the James Madison win, um, and we just want to keep it going, really.